Hey everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, we are going to go through the concept of the sun as a star in terms of the features of the sun and how the sun produces energy. Now this video is going to be a short video because we are not going to go through in-depth detail about the sun as a star. This video is designed for students who are planning to take the IGCSE Physics examination, so we're only going to go through the information that's needed for the students to answer the questions in the exam. So what do you need to know? Now, first of all, you need to know that the sun is the biggest object in the solar system. Our sun is considered to be a medium-sized star and it's yellow in color. It is a massive ball of mainly hydrogen and helium gases. It's so massive that there's enough mass for the nuclear reactions to take place at its center. And the sun is one of many, many stars in the universe. So it's not the only star. There are some stars which are bigger, hotter, and bluer than the sun. So remember that if it's hotter, it's blue in color, just like blue flames. And there are also some stars that are smaller and cooler, and if it's a lower temperature, the color is redder. The sun radiates energy through electromagnetic radiation, mostly infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet. Here are some extra fun facts about the sun. So the diameter of the sun is about 1.4 million kilometers. Its mass is about 1.989 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. The distance from Earth is 149.6 million kilometers. The surface temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. In terms of its classification, the Sun is a G-type main sequence star. The composition of the Sun is primarily composed of hydrogen, which is about 74% by mass, and helium, about 24%. There are trace amounts of other elements such as carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, which make up the remaining 2%. So these are extra fun facts which you do not need to know for your IGCSE physics. And even if you did, this information is normally provided. Now how do stars produce energy, including our sun? How does our sun produce energy? Now, stars are powered by nuclear reactions that release energy. And in stable stars, these nuclear reactions are nuclear fusion, where hydrogen fuses into helium. If you'd like to know more about nuclear fusion reactions, please watch my video on nuclear energy, where we discuss nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So for stars, including our sun, this nuclear reaction is nuclear fusion only. Now, how do stars produce energy? So, the stars are so massive that the density and temperature at the center are high enough for nuclear reactions to occur. So the positively charged hydrogen nuclei are able to overcome their electrostatic repulsion and they combine and fuse together to form helium nuclei, which is essentially nuclear fusion. So when this happens, a lot of energy is released and in this part of its life, the star is stable. So the sun is a stable star and it has been shining for about 5,000 million years or 5 billion years. Although it consumes about 600 million tons of hydrogen each second, there is still enough for nuclear fusion to continue for another 5,000 million years or rather 5 billion years. Yes, here's a meme for you to think about solar energy. It is actually renewable. This is just a funny joke for the meme. If you're wondering what it means when we say main sequence star and about the star being stable, please watch the video about the life cycle of a star which goes into this in more detail. And that's it for this video. So if you did find this video helpful in preparing you for your IGCSE physics, please click like and subscribe for more physics lessons. If you'd like to help me keep making free educational video lessons and lab practicals, donations are welcomed at my coffee page. That's ko-fi.com slash physicsrocks. If you would like access to notes, quizzes, and syllabus updates, please visit my website at physicsrocks.com. Happy studying!